Marvin, Marvin, the, the perfect truth I will tell you is this. Don't think I don't think I take from that point of view. Think as if I'm a competitive player. But let me tell I'm telling you the truth as a brother. Yeah. You are a threat. You are. And just expect it. Oh, Especially yeah. after this flutter wave thing. Yeah. Expect it. You feel me? Don't show them that, okay, there's something that's you not know, bothering you. Here am I thinking that, okay, after Maya had won the first sponsored tag, sponsored by Flutter Wave, they would at least calm down. That would soothe their hurting hearts. You feel me? About the whole save and replace uh, Vito Power that um, Kanaga did during the life of life nomination you feel me i was thinking okay that would make them feel some type of way feel better about the situation or um, more it didn't do jack hey god it didn't do nothing at all these people marvin and yaya were still going about going from housemate to housemate reporting kanaga jr i don't understand i don't don't they understand the concept of Big Brother Titan being a game. Like, do they think it's where they'll be lovey dovey and be forming friends, relationships here and there, brothers and sisters, and be family reunion? Because the rate at which Marvin is going is so exasperating. Like, bro, bro, get your shit together. It's a game for a reason. Even if you and um Canada have been lovey dovey, or you've been acting like brothers. It doesn't change the fact that it's a game. I even applaud Kanaga for understanding, for not getting um, overwhelmed and, you know, for not getting distracted by any other person coming to form alliance with him. Get your competition out of the way because it's a game. Everybody's there for the money. It's even the narrative he's even using. He's even pushing together with the whole complaint that, oh, Kanaga Jr. nominated him because of Tatsy. Hello? Not everyone is that petty. Ah, now, wow. Hey, guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Zini, and I'm back again like I never left. If you're returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back you're the real mvps and if you're joining me for the very first time you're highly welcome please smash the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and turn on your post notification to be notified when i post a new video guys in today's video eh, we need to on we, i'm trying to understand so probably when i speak you guys will you know um share your own thoughts with me and then make me understand the reason why marvin is going um um health task that Higgly the piggy the going from one place to another discussing Kanaga Junior, making my Kanaga Junior to cry. Me, I don't want I don't want to allow like, nobody should look for my own trouble. So that's what we are gonna be talking about in this video. Now, guys, we all know how hurt Marvin especially was when Kanaga um replaced um Yelisa with him and his partner Yaya. He was extremely hurt because according to him, he has shared a bond with Kanaga Junior. He's close to him, he's like a junior brother to him. And according to Kanaga Junior Self, during the uh, during his um discussion with um Blue Eva and the die in the HOH room. I discovered that oh they've even discussed about um um community projects, you know, doing things for young boys and all that. They've gone they've gone deeper in talking about you know projects and all that. So I can understand his plight, I can understand his pain, you know, seeing someone put you, someone you were close, someone you, you even thought you you had like a real G in the house, put you up for um eviction like it was it was painful it was hurtful now he i understand when you have a pain you don't bottle it up you just you you open up to the people and you speak at least so that you can you can relax you can be relaxed a little bit so yeah he spoke to yemi he spoke to, he spoke to um black boy and he even told black boy that he was going to have a conversation with kanaga jr concerning the whole thing so he would see from his own perspective why he put him up for eviction and black boy even encouraging that yes talk to him since he's your jeep or so you thought he was your g you need to understand why he did what he did now kanaga G um Kanaga Jr., he, um, Marvin had a conversation with Kanaga Jr., right? And, um, Kanaga Jr. told him that, oh, he, he actually told Kanaga Jr. that he, he feels, um, he put him up because during the truth or dare game, he, uh, when he was asked who he, who he finds attractive, all of that, he, um, he called Tati's name. And before he called Tati's name, he actually went to Kanaga Jr. to seek permission that, okay, oh, I, I'm just trying to play safe. Not as if I find her really attractive. But I don't want to mention Yaya's name or Blue Eva because they are both in the picture. You know, they, they both like him or they are both wooing each other, all of them. So um, he doesn't want to call one person's name so that the other won't feel bad. So let's him just call someone who is neutral. Can he call Tati's name? And Kanaga Jr. said yes. So from his own perspective, he feels like he got angry and he didn't really mean it when he said, when he had given him permission to call Tati's name. And that's the reason why he put him up for 
um eviction and kanaga jr said no that's not the reason i just put you up because i just wanted to see if you're going to survive i see you as a competition and you know i just put you up not it's, it's not because of taxi or anything of that sort don't be offended this is how i felt and at the moment and it was a, a huge decision for myself and my partner blue eva to make don't be offended about the whole thing and I was thinking, okay, fine, the beef has, has been um, squashed, uh, coupled with his first win. I mean, they won the, the first sponsored tax. Oh, Marvin, Marvin is good. Marvin is good. That was what I was thinking. Oh, lo and behold, I saw this guy in the dressing room with Kosi, Miracle, and Olivia. And guess what he was talking about? The same thing that, oh, Kanaga Jr. put him up for... Um, for eviction that he's not a true friend that he put him up because of taxi and you know taxi has been trying to come close to him that oh taxi is not even really into him like that and other housemates will tell him oh don't even go there well taxi really likes him they are both in in love with each other they both have emotions for each other don't even go there and uh, miracle was trying to let him know that it, i don't think that's the reason why he put you up i mean looking at you alone you are a huge competition you are a threat i mean you're muscular a lot of people would see you as a threat when it comes to the arena games the tax because you're strong you feel me yeah yeah on the other hand you know feel like she's a threat but she is when it comes to emotional and um mental um um state of mind you know aspect she's actually very strong but she may not see herself as strong because she's not maybe she's um she's a plus size she feels she's not strong enough to you know carry out the games but looking at uh mavi that's what miracle was telling him that whoa bro you are a threat so you need to see it coming you are going to be put up because people see you as a threat i mean coupled with the fact that um some of most of the housemates even know they are aware of the fact that he has um five hundred thousand plus followers on instagram excuse you i don't know how they got to know about it but during their conversation Marvin was like, oh, when as as long as people know that already in the house, they shouldn't even pull me up because they should be should, they should be certain that I'm going to be safe. He was not trying to brag with the followers. Yeah. That if you actually know the amount of my followers, mm -hmm. that should actually scare you. That look, but he didn't know. It was as if I should just go into my school and tell him, bros, it's not by that though, because out here we not to rate you like that. Plus your followers join. It's not by having followers. Um, he feels it's because of taxi and all that. And Miracle was trying to let him know it's not because of taxi you need to relax you know don't see it from that perspective see it as of um see it from this perspective he sees you as a competition because you are a competition men looking at you physically you are a competition you are cute you have an um uh, an american accent i mean you talk so well your friends i mean people see you as a competition you should get that in your head i mean it was it took a lot it took a lot of convincing a lot of conviction for um kosi um miracle and olivia to make him understand that it's not because of taxi forget that one i mean you've had a conversation with him and he told you cool her that no it's not because of any taxi it's because i see you as a competition although we are cool i still see you as a competition i just wanted to try he even said it in his diary section he just wanted to check if he's going to you know stand up and you know still be in the house before he now relaxed before marvin now relaxed i'm like okay even maya on the other hand was not even you know walked up like the way he was I was thinking that would be over. Oh, that was not over. This guy still went into the garden and had a conversation with Yemi. That uh, uh, how will he be able to? How 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 will he want to sacrifice the bonds they have? Hello, 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 hello. Excusez moi, Marvin. Which bond? It wasn't not two weeks ago the both of you knew each other. Abi, did you did both of you know, um, know each other before coming into the house? Which bond? I don't understand. I don't get it. Because so, so far, so good from what I'm seeing. Yemi is even more closer to Kanaga Junior. I think Black Boy is even more closer to Kanaga Junior. He said it to Blue Eva. So I don't understand which one is a. Uh, I can't believe he wanted to. He 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 wanted to sacrifice the bond we share with each other. I mean that's my bro. That's my G. Yeah, I mean I told him guy, 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 guy is not that deep. It's a competition. It's a game at the end of the day because you walked into that room and you nominated people as well. Even if you did not call. Um, Kanaiva, that's um, Kanaga Junior and Blue Eva. You nominated people, so don't you need to see it coming because it's a game at the end of the day. The way you're saying it here is actually okay if you want to take out your, your, your competition at the early stage. There's no problem, there's no 
problem with it. Kanaga Jr. even um, started crying in the HOH when he was explaining to Blue Eva that he walked into the he, he walked into the um, dressing room and all of them just kept mute because they were talking about him. That they've already had a, they've already had a conversation. That's himself and Marvin. He doesn't understand why he's going about talking to people and is he trying to make people um, um, see him as a bad person? And to, what even hurts him the most is the narrative he's pushing. Um, Together with his complaints, that is because of Tati. The only one thing you know is the fact that every conversation you're having with everyone, mm -hmm. you're making them see that the reason you think I put you off is because of this big, but we are not the conversation. Yeah. He has told him several eight times. It's not because of Tati. Like I didn't see, I didn't see you picking her as the most um, prettiest person or the person you have a crush. I didn't see it as a big deal during the truth, truth, truth or dare game. Like I have nothing against you. But he keeps talking about it. He keeps talking about it. He went for that to talk Blue Eva about the whole uh, community project and the things they want to do for young boys. That that's they've even gone deep into conversing you know um stuff like that with each other in my head i was like ah, you probably won't go deep like that kanaga you know you'd have at least tried to pick someone else but even at that even at that marvin shouldn't be this bothered so i love what blue eva was doing that girl is a real partner she was really you know trying to you know um console him tell him no it's a game at the end of the day don't think too much of it so that you cool down and then after because i don't want you to go out there you know looking like this and i'm thinking like um marvin do you think it was only his decision why are you not attacking blue eva because blue eva also concurred to it and guess what guys he's also wooing blue eva he's also wooing blue eva as well he is also they, they, they were even called up was it not yesterday so why is it Kanaga Jr.? I don't get it. Like, Blue Eva also concurred. Well, let's assume Kanaga Jr. was the one that mentioned Maya. Okay, let's let's replace Yelisa with Maya. But why did Blue Eva not um um counter it or give a contrary opinion that no, 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 let's not go with Why are you, you are even cuddled up with her? You people are sharing the same duvet, but you are attacking Kanaga Jr. because you share a bond, because you are brothers or you are both from the same uh, uh, um, state or words. I beg, I beg, I beg. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Let's dialogue. Are you feeling this whole thing? Do you think um, Kanaga Jr. betrayed the bond he shares with... Or should I say shared because it's pastors and I don't think they will be cool the way they've been before. He shared with um, uh, Marvin. Do you think Marvin is doing too much by... Um, pushing the narrative that is because of taxi whereas he has had a conversation with um kanaga jr and he said no it's not because of taxi let me know your comments let me know your thoughts in the comment section thank you so much for staying to the end of this video please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and yeah turn on your post notification to be notified when i post a new video mm -hmm. thank you so much for watching once again see you all in my next video bye